Hello everybody, this is Sarah Perry, Queen of Arts, and this is the weekly psychic insight and guidance and predictions, if any, for November the 18th, 2024. Now, just quickly before I start, if you do want a private reading with me, then do look in the description box below for all the offers. If you do connect with me on the circle, uh, there is a free reading offer. There is also a special offer on my website for a 2025 reading and also other opportunities to link into to on the website so do check that out if you need be now this week uh, we are being guided to take control of what natural skills and abilities we have to realize that we don't have to put in quite as much effort or keep learning and keep building as much as we have been now that isn't to say that we aren't meant to be on a learning journey because every day we learn something new this is about knowing we have enough and that we can do what we need and that we can actually take time out as well we can give our brains a rest I feel like we've got to stop overthinking it and just start doing it start using what you've got start manifesting what you need by you know looking at what you actually have in front of you this is about looking at what is on the table, what is available to us and saying, well, right now, if I want this dream, this is how I'm going to use what I've got. Stop wasting what is already there and letting it rust away in the cupboard. Because if you do that and then you need it later, you're going to have to put more investment in and more time and energy to get it working again. You know, it's like use it or lose it. That's what spirit is telling you. We're in a new cycle this week. Everything is starting to change, but we are coming into Mercury retrograde. So communication might be a little bit off, but stop trying so hard to get your point across. Get your point across by doing, by using what you have. And if anything, use your mind, you know, put it out there, like talk to someone's higher self, talk to their mind self. The challenge this week is knowing that you can trust, right? It's about trust. It's about knowing you're already where you are, that you have enough. Some of us are always trying for more. It's like we're still climbing up the hill going, well, what what have I got to do? You know, I've got to go and get on this app and I've got to pay this subscription and I've got to go and do some more study and I need to get some more self-development going. Yeah, we self-develop every day, right? There's a certain like format right or learning that is necessary to move forwards and to have the best life and have the best value most value in your life right once you've learned those basics it it's the same in everything the self-development that you do is practice it's about using what you've learned like i said it's using go back over all those certificates you've done all the knowledge you've learned doing a job, which may have failed or may haven't been great, but what did you get from it? Did you become stronger? Did you become more confident? Have you become aware that you've lost your self-esteem? If so, go and build that side. Use the tools that you you had, you, you were given years ago and start using them. I always find it really kind of comical when I Sometimes you know, the uh, people that I'm teaching or guiding or mentoring, you know, and I give the, the, all they they just keep wanting more and more and more, and it's like they take they take the information, but they're not using it. And unless you start, you know, you've got to give yourself time and rest in between to for things to take effect. Stop pushing so hard. There is a very there's going to be a, a strong need to push fast, right? And things will happen quickly, but without force, okay? But inside, you may have the mindset that you've got to do more. So trust, let go. If anything, if you're struggling, go and take a break. You know, if you're struggling for exams and your head's all over the place, go and do half an hour meditation. If you go onto my... YouTube channel, there's some quick fix meditations, things that are very short, very quick, get you grounded, get you focused, okay, three or four minutes long, that's all, it's all you need, and you know, you can get yourself back to centre, so you may be a bit conflicted conflicted this week, you might think if I don't move fast, I'm not going to get the support, or I'm not going to keep my strength, I'm not going to keep the momentum going, but actually what Spirit is saying is you need to just flow, you really need to just go, I've got enough, 
Everything's where it is. If I'm not feeling it, don't do it. You know, is there anything that I actually have to do right now that's a priority? Is one day going to make a lot of difference? Is one minute. But if I do push, that minute could make even more difference, as in pull me backwards, because I'm going to be even more tired than I was before. Okay, so really consider this. Now, the beginning of the week, there is a lot to learn from the past. I feel... um, you can use past knowledge. Um, so again, go back to old certificates, go back to old learning, go back to old experiences. Um, I feel like some people need to go back to some governmental paperwork or um, look at where you were a leader as well. Um, look at where you felt dominant, where you felt control in control. And they're saying what worked, what didn't work. And they're saying that there's, you need to only be focusing on one thing right now. What is working for you at this moment, right? In one aspect, if that means breathing and stopping, that's going to work for you. Because sometimes we're just so tired. It's just, there's no point even thinking, you know, we just need to stop. Or look at, go back over the past and look at the thing that actually has guaranteed you growth, has always grown. It's never stopped growing. And then just focus on that. That one thing, let everything else go. Stop trying to, to, you know, carry all these things. I feel like you're at a point now where you can just say, right, I can settle. I can now look at everything my whole life. I can really kind of plan it and go, right, well, that worked. That didn't work. That's just a waste of time. You know, I do this over and over and I'm just banging my head against brick wall. What if I just focus on this for a moment and get it going? And then I could go back to some of these things. Because it's still there. They're not going anywhere. You know, they're not going to be lost. You could always, like, extend your time frame a bit. Stop pushing and stop rushing. But this energy with the retrogrades is going to cause that, all right? You are going to feel that, right? That isn't a lie. And anyone that I talk to during this time is going to be going, ah, it's not happening. I haven't heard. What should I do? I haven't got, you know, I'm out of work. I'm going to be out of work in three months. You know, it's like, we got three months. Chill out. Right. But it, it, the feeling inside is like, I've got to get it done. I've got to get something sorted because nothing's happening. It's like that feeling when no one's saying anything and you have to speak because you can't cope with the silence. Right. It's very similar. Something is building in the background. There's a rumbling coming and there's something that is coming to a head very soon. All right. And it is it is going to be supercharged. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of foundations starting to to break as well in different areas so if you're wanting justice somewhere or you're wanting to hear about something again on a governmental scheme i'm getting that kind of thing something to do with housing i feel like something is breaking apart there is a loophole and the red tape is not going to be as secure as you think it is anymore right now by the end of the week you're going to have more decisions to make if you focus on one thing and just something that is working right now and it works for you and it's growing and it's got potential then just give it Give that the time and the attention, okay? And if that is self-care, then do. But go back at what you've learned and, you know, what you've got from things. If anything, journal it, you know, because you might say, oh, my God, I can connect all the dots, you know, which is great. Now, so by the end of it, there's lots of decisions to make. And I feel like you could have an opportunity come in, um, some more choices to make for you. But I feel like this has got to be your decision. This is to do with going it alone as well so for some of you you may feel that you've got to separate um you've got to do something for yourself you may feel a calling to go down a new path um if it feels right then do it you know this is your decision but you've got to look at what is going to take you further towards your goal and what's going to take you further away now timing and advice is to free your head basically free your head of noise find something that gives you calm gives you peace of mind and that way you'll be able to see things more effectively because if you're being restricted it's because you're you're doing it yourself right it's your own mindset that is doing it nothing else is really stopping you except obviously on a greater level the universe loves to put a spanner in the works every now and again to make us think but it is for the good all right the planetary movements the universal conduct is all done for the greater good not to make us suffer we suffer because we create our own suffering we are the creators of our own lives now unexpectedly things could turn okay for for anyone out there and i do feel that 
found you know security is there so I feel like a leap of faith into something trust in something that you know is going to work and just giving it your whole energy and your whole love and value and is going to really pay off and I do feel it will bring in some very strong foundations and you might find that actually you discover um you had more than you realized so it is going to be worth it if you feel you've got to do something on your own maybe you've got to break away from a partnership maybe you just have to just disband from things detach a little bit um and just maybe you just need to do some soul searching literally just go off and look for you you know find yourself then do it because I really feel it's going to turn things around and it will have a very unexpected and positive result so I hope this is helped you this week and it's given you the guidance and answers that you're looking for if you want further then please do contact me for a private reading